What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Cam ATL, and welcome back to another High Five video with your boy. Thank you guys for joining me as always, man. Drop a like down below because I already know you're going to love it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, comment anything in the comment section. Enter your name into the $50 giveaway that I do every single week on this channel. Man, it has been an amazing few weeks, man. I believe we've lost like... I know for certain we've lost only once in about nine days. Before that, we had only lost like once in another five or six. So I'd say twice in a few weeks. Um, it's been fantastic. Uh, NBA season so far has been absolutely ridiculous. And I love it when we get stretches like this, man, because... You know, I'm able to see people actually start like withdrawing big chunks and actually using it in the real world and paying actual bills and stuff like that. And it actually benefiting them in the real world when we're on hot streaks like this. So I love things like that. That's what we do it for. We do it because at the end of the day, all right, DFS can, does not have to just be something you do for fun and you lose majority of the time. It doesn't have to be that. DFS can be something that you use as a side income to actually help you in life, not only have fun and be able to watch all these games you normally wouldn't watch. Or, you know, there's times where I'll be watching a game, like think about what DFS has done for sports fans in general, okay? I played baseball growing up. I was in travel baseball for like 12 years, all right? Played baseball for a long time. Love baseball. But would I watch a game on TV? Hell no. That's just me being honest. I would not watch a game on TV. Now, when baseball's on, I don't miss a game. I find myself cheering for teams I've never even paid attention to or cared about in every sport. There's certain teams that I never even watch. Now I watch them, cheering for my guys the whole time. It's really heightened up sports in general. And it just, it's what we have as grown men or grown women as our fun. You know, when you're a kid, you have all these things that you look forward to, like going to the, you know, I don't know, the park, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, the playground or Walt Disney World or something like that, those fun places, you know, like when I was a kid and I'd go to like Nike or something and get some new pair of shoes, I would like, when I was little, okay, it might sound stupid, but I would like think I was faster than I was before when I'd get new shoes, I'd start running around and shit thinking I was the shit, you know, how ha that happiness that you feel as a kid, that's what we're trying to recreate as grown-ups here with DFS, that's pretty much the same thing. You know what I mean? This is our, our excitement as grown-ups. You know, as you get older, you get into a routine of wake up, work, sleep. Wake up, work, sleep. Same shit every day. Now we get to add some excitement each night, um, which is great. So anyway, let's go ahead and get straight into the high five. You guys know how I like to do it. Come in, give you guys a core five. Um, remember, okay, a few nights ago I had like five people come to my videos at like midnight talking about how my picks sucked or something like a couple guys sucked oh this guy sucked this guy was okay this guy sucked this guy was all right this guy was good this guy sucked this guy sucked. like listen you don't have to waste your time and do all of that it's not that big of a deal okay you don't have to come back at 1 a.m tomorrow morning and tell me how a few of these picks suck this is my beginning of the day high five for you to get you started on the slate okay of course things are going to change as the day goes on as injury news and stuff comes out things are going to change Okay, so pay attention to all of that news and let this be the starting point for you. All right, let's get straight into it. Starting off at point guard, greenlightdfs.com, by the way. Uh, starting off at point guard, DeJounte Murray. DeJounte Murray seems a little too cheap to me at 6'1". I've been playing a lot of this kid this year, man. We need 36 for 6x. I feel very certain for that here against Denver. Um, he's just been solid, 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 solid. Outside of the game against Dallas January 22nd, He's got 39, 42, 38, 38, 46, 32. Like, he's right there around this 36 value every single night. I absolutely love it. Denver's been bad against point guards this year. Gave up 86 to Luka. DeJounte's not going to do that, but that shows the upside potential that DeJounte is able to get here. Um, great matchup. I have a nice little value. I'm going to go Theo Maladon. All right, Maladon should be getting the start here with George Hill out, and he had a solid game last time out. Okay, he was 3-7 then, now he dropped 300, should still be in the starting lineup here. He got 24, he played 30 minutes, that's the most encouraging part. Now going against Brooklyn, that's bad against guards. I love Theo here, um, if, especially if he's going to get 30 minutes at 3-4, he's one of the best values on the entire slate. As of right now, we could get some major value and guys really pop in, but as of right now, some really good value is Theo Maladon in this matchup against Brooklyn. All right, 
Next up at center, another very good value that I feel like if this dude's going to get 30 minutes, he's just consistently going to hit value at this price. Okay, so take advantage of him. Play him as he is still way too cheap. He was 3-4 last game. Now he's 4K. Um, take advantage as he's still a little bit too cheap. You know what I mean? Like at 30 minutes, this guy's going to hit value easily at 4K. So I love Cody Zeller. He's definitely a guy that I will be taking advantage of today. The matchup's not ideal against the Pacers, but I love him. He's only 4K. It's a great, great spot. A team that has been dreadful versus point guards and really defensively in general and giving up a ton of fantasy points is Sacramento. Kyle Lowry's in a fantastic spot. Him and Van Vliet, these guys are fantastic. If Lowry ends up out, Van Vliet's locked. Either way, love Lowry and Van Vliet here in this matchup. Lowry seems too cheap at 7-1. He's had some up and down moments this season, getting 17 and 33 minutes against the Pacers a few games ago. But at the end of the day, I'm expecting a 45 or more here. I love Kyle Lowry here in this matchup at 7-1. Seems way too cheap. Last but not least, Clint Capella. Love Clint Capella here. Pay attention to his status because obviously with him being questionable, if he doesn't play, we're not going to want to play him. But Clint Capella, I love against Washington. Washington's defense is horrible. All right, horrible versus everything. Okay, play guys against him. I love this game, Atlanta, Washington. I would be looking to get as much exposure as I can to this game. Plain and simple. All right, Clint Capella is going to absolutely eat on the boards. They've struggled versus centers, and Capella has been ridiculous. So lock him in. And that's it, man. Quick and simple to the point. DeJounte Murray, Maladon, Cody Zeller, Kyle Lowry, and Clint Capella is the high five. Good luck, y'all. I'm going to send you on your way. Pay attention to injury news. Update as needed. GreenlightDFS.com. Join the squad. If you're making some GPP lines, make sure you use the Greenlight Optimizer. Appreciate you guys stopping by. And I'm out. Peace. Good luck.